up guys? It is your girl Lauren and welcome back to today's video. I am in a very good mood guys and it is because I will be showing y'all a plant haul. But it's not just any plant haul. It is my birthday plant haul because your girl's birthday is coming up. It is on April 5th so by the time you're watching this it's still a couple of days before my birthday actually hits but I thought I would film this video anyway. I am 27 years young so the more I say that out loud the scarier it is but I am turning 27 and for my birthday there were specific plants that I was looking for. I didn't want to just blow money and spend money because it's a special occasion. I was only going to get plants that I really wanted and the universe just blessed me because I ended up getting all the plants that I wanted and I'm so excited to add them into my collection and show you guys. So before we get into the video, if you're new here, I am on my way to 1000 subscribers. So if you like my content, please subscribe, like this video, hit the notification bell and without further ado, Let's get into the plant haul. Okay, I am going to go in the order that I purchased them in just to make it easier. And this isn't super crazy. It is four different plants. So without further ado, I got a philodendron Jose Bono. I have been talking about this plant for the longest time and this might not be a surprise to a lot of you. I did reveal this plant already in my Zone 9 Tropicals nursery tour video so if you haven't seen that it is up here. I revealed it at the very end but in case no one saw that portion of the video I still wanted to give this plant some limelight so here we go. Let's see if we'll focus. So this is, no, is this, no, this is not the newest leaf. I thought it was. So just giving you a pan of the leaves right now. And then this one right here is just a little bit damaged. It was already like that. This is the newest leaf. And then there is one growing out. So if there was one plant I absolutely wanted for my birthday, it was a Jose Bono and I'm so happy that I was able to purchase it at Zone 9 Tropicals and support a Houston business. I actually think a few days after I got this plant I was looking at Zone 9 Tropicals Instagram and I'm pretty sure this is the plant that they posted and they posted the price which I think was in the 300 so if this is the same plant, I'll be showing you some pictures. I was able to get this as a discount, which was so nice. I didn't realize Wayne did that, but this plant is just beautiful. It has very subtle lobes, but I just love the shape of it. I just think the variegation is super nice. It's sectoral, as you can see, but it's also very speckled and spotted and I don't have a lot of plants specifically like this with this particular foliage so I absolutely love it. Of course it's a philodendron, it's super chill. I just still have it in its nursery pot. I may not be able to take it out but you can see I still have it in its nursery pot and this pot is made from one of my most favorite artist on Instagram. It's called TMD Ceramics. I will put her information here because I love her pots, but it's still a super easy tropical plant. It is a philodendron and you guys know I am always going to be a stand for philodendrons. I do have this plant in the prime spot in my bedroom. I have a west facing window so I get a lot of natural sunlight in the afternoon evening time. It's really strong, bright, and direct light. So I'm really hoping to get some high color variegation. I do enjoy like the little lime green minty color, but I want, you know, that white, you know? I just want all the different color variations I can. So I did start off super strong with my planned birthday haul by already getting my number one plant on my wish list. 
that's basically all I have to say about this plant. And let's go on to the next two, which you guys may be really surprised to hear about, but they are anthuriums. So let's go on to the second plant. Now, I know I've been a broken record when it comes to anthuriums, but ever since I put my anthuriums in my greenhouse and I switched the substrate to moss and perlite and really letting that be the substrate instead of my chunky soil mix, they have been thriving and they have been rehabbing really well. So because of that, I decided to pull the trigger and buy a couple of anthuriums that I have really been wanting. I, in the beginning when I started getting anthuriums, and of course they weren't doing so hot. I was completely turned off by anthuriums. I was like, I do not want any, like at all. They stress me out. I can't figure them out, but I've grown some confidence. And within the past month and a half, there's just been a couple of anthuriums that have been calling my name that I really, really wanted. And ah, I'm just like, ah, I'm so excited to show you guys. So the first one, I believe, is an anthurium silver blush and this is my favorite plant right now guys i hope the light picks it up well like oh my gosh can you see that like that is gorgeous i got this plant from a local seller here in houston i will leave her information i think in the description box i believe their name is called batch botanicals may have to fact check to that but she's a local seller here in houston i purchased my philodendron white knight cutting from her i saw that she had a silver blush and of course i contacted her she still had the plant and this is such a gorgeous queen i was trying to figure out if i wanted a doriaki or a silver blush i would have been fine with either and i was trying to educate myself on the difference between them i did find this picture that you'll be seeing right here that enid from nsc tropicals posted on her instagram story i believe and from that picture and what I've seen, I believe this is a silver blush. Again, I am not an expert, so if it's a Doriaki, then let me know. But I just really fell in love with these big crystal iridescent veins. It is absolutely a showstopper. It glimmers in my Detolf greenhouse cabinet so beautifully. It's in the prime spot. And I am so proud of myself, guys. This plant has been acclimating so well. Nothing has died off. It's been super easy, like knocking on wood right now. And there is a new bump of a growth point growing a new growth point growing so we'll just see how this goes i remember at least this is a win for me right now when i first got my anthuriums my crystallinum my queen and a little bit my clarinervium when i first got those three they started tanking when i got them a few days afterwards but i've had this plan for about two weeks and it's thriving it's chilling I love it and I cannot wait for this next leaf to come out. And after that, I ended up getting a, another anthurium. That is that. I loved my anthurium silver blush. It's absolutely beautiful. And then of course, another anthurium was calling my name and I feel like I got this at a steal deal like i got this at a really good price so i'm fortunate about and i don't know why i keep like pausing i just can't believe i got more anthuriums in my collection but they're beautiful and this plant is an anthurium magnificum let me get this plant it is it's not rough um but it isn't in like 100 percent condition obviously but that's to be expected when you're shipping plants anyway this is the biggest leaf right now you can see this little yellowing damage right here i received the plant like this so it's nothing that happened in my care so i am watching that but i just love the soft supple sheen of this plant it's more of a subtle beauty while well, i feel like my silver blush is like a showstopper. She's here. She's arrived. 
This one is just more of a muted beauty, but I absolutely love her. There are two baby leaves right here, so you can see that and that beautiful sheen. And I don't really know what attracted me to this plant and just really called out my name the past month, but I just really fell in love with the foliage. It does have a little bit of that 3D texture, but again, it's a lot more subtle, more muted, and I think it's just very, very beautiful. These both live in my greenhouse cabinet. When I say both, both of the anthuriums that I have are in my greenhouse cabinet. So far, I haven't seen anything as far as them tanking or unhealthy, but there is another little growth uh y'all are probably not going to see that but there is a growth point a new leaf coming out and i will keep you guys updated make sure that you check out my instagram because i will be posting more about how these two anthuriums are doing and i hope they just thrive and love the environment that they are in so i am super jazzed about these two and without further ado we are going to talk about the last plant, which is a Hoya. I'm pretty sure you guys weren't expecting me to say that, but it is a Hoya and I can't wait to show y'all. So let's move on. We are down to the final plant and it is a Hoya. And I have not talked about Hoyas in a very long time. I've basically just been enjoying the Hoyas that I have. And there hasn't been a Hoya that has been particularly speaking to me that I've been urging to buy but this Hoya that you're gonna see is one that I have been talking about in my past couple of Hoya videos and I ended up getting it it is a Hoya Croniana super silver and they're two baby plants so let me get them and they are right here so this is the first one and then this is the second one focus thank you so these two together i haven't checked the root system yet whenever it gets established i will put them together but i have been really wanting a super silver ever since i got my croniana silver let me just show you guys that really quick so this is my favorite well i love my hoya polyneura too but my polyneura and my croniana have been my favorite plants this is my baby. This was the original plant. It was probably up to here. It grew this long and then it started growing another vine right here. This has just super thrived in my environment. This plant absolutely loves me. And because of all the joy that I received from this Croniana silver made me wanna get my super silver. So let me put this down and bring back the other plant. I had to change battery guys so so sorry if the frame isn't exactly how it was but here are the super silvers now i am going to put them back close on the camera the size the shape does look slightly different it's more heart shaped it's a little more compact versus my croniana that is just a little bit longer so you can see that difference right there it's still the same shape but the croniana is just a little bit more longer and tapered at the edge the thing about the super silver that i wasn't expecting is that the leaves do feel hardier they feel thicker and more substantial in comparison to my regular croniana silver i keep I'm getting mixed up between the two, but the, it does feel a lot harder than the leaves on my regular Croniana Silver. I'm kind of feeling it right now off camera and it just feels more flat, just like a regular leaf, but this was something in particular that I noted. And I'm really happy also that I got this plant because it was part of a Facebook group charity auction. Of course, there's been a lot of Asian hate crime here in the United States. And so a few of the admins were auctioning off their plans. And if you won that amount, you got to donate to a charity of your choice. And so I thought it was a great cause. I was able to get a plant that I'd been wanting to get. I checked it off my wish list and it was for a great cause. So I hope these are just as easy to 
root and grow like its regular form and these have really good aerial roots as well i'm really tempted to cut my coniana silver and start rooting it but i have no knowledge on how to propagate hoyas i hear they're pretty easy but if you are an expert at propagating hoyas you have some tips please help your girl out and let me know in the comments but these are so dainty, so beautiful, and I can't wait to see how they thrive in my home. Okay guys, that was the video. I hope you really enjoyed it. These are just four plants that I got for my 27th birthday and I absolutely love every single one of them. I'm really happy that I got plants that were really meaningful to me that I really wanted on my wish list for my birthday instead of just mindlessly spending my money on plants just because it was a special occasion. So I am completely thrilled and make sure you guys follow me on my social media so you can keep updated on how my plants are doing. The next video is going to be me reflecting on my one year plant journey anniversary and talking about just some of the lessons that I've learned and sharing that with you guys. It's going to be a more chill but heartfelt video and I hope you guys like it. But until then, I will see y'all later. Bye.